Hydrogen has been used safely throughout um, the, our economy. We use most of the hydrogen today to make cleaner gasoline. Um, but it's also used in food manufacturing and consumer products. If you look at hydrogen compared to gasoline, certainly both um, fuels have a lot of energy content. You must pay attention to um, you know, safety considerations when using the fuel. Hydrogen is no less safe than gasoline, it's just different. If there is a hydrogen leak, it's very light, and so it will go up and rise immediately and dissipate into the atmosphere. It's totally non-toxic, it won't cause um, health problems or environmental problems if it is released into the atmosphere. All vehicle fuels can be dangerous. If they weren't, they wouldn't be useful as fuel. The trick for any fuel is to engineer it so that it is as safe as currently available technologies. Today that's gasoline in conventional vehicles. And most people I know working with hydrogen believe that hydrogen is either as safe or safer than gasoline is today. It is safer than gasoline. Uh, most people say today that if you were to have a gasoline engine today and you were trying to bring it on the market for the very first time, there would be no way that you would be able to put that gasoline engine onto the marketplace. It just wouldn't happen. I quite sincerely believe, and I've seen test evidence that supports my conclusion, that the gas tank in the, uh, the Suburban that I drive is more dangerous than a hydrogen fuel tank. We have conducted 120,000 fuelings you know, worldwide already. We know hydrogen can be delivered, compressed, and dispensed into vehicles very safely, as safely, if not more safely, than traditional fuels. We've done extensive safety training with our maintenance and service personnel. Um, we work with some very good partners that have designed some very good systems. Our fueling station, our, uh, our uh, facility upgrades all incorporate uh, hydrogen sensors and fire sensors and, and uh, very uh, robust systems to track that. Safety was a big part of it. Uh, I wanted to make sure that the testing that they had done uh, was adequate for our employees' benefit. Um, as well as for the community. I have the good fortune to drive a fuel cell car on a regular basis and I use it to take my kids to school, um, go to the baseball practice, go grocery shopping, come to work. When they fuel the car there's no fumes or drips of gasoline. I would much rather drive my fuel cell vehicle than my gasoline vehicle. Funding provided by the U.S. Department of Energy's National Energy Technology Laboratory. The Energy and Environmental Research Center's National Center for Hydrogen Technology and the members of Prairie Public.